principal, Sister Josie Matthew, for giving us opportunity to display our talent of acting. The name of the play is Blackwood House. In this play, there is a doctor who wants to buy the house in Overwood. The doctor goes to one of the estate agents. The estate agent shows him details of few houses. The doctor shows interest in purchasing the Blackwood house. But the estate agent discourages him. So friends, let us find out whether the Blackwood house is really haunted or not. Will the doctor manage to buy it? Let's find out what happened. We are in Overwood. The office of an estate agent and Miss Cooper is writing at a table. Good morning. Are you Miss Cooper? I am. Please sit down. Now, what can I do for you? I am Dr. Norton. I am coming to live and work in Overwood. And I shall need a house. I understand. You are ready to buy a house, I suppose. Yes, if it doesn't cost too much. A lot of people are coming to live here. There aren't much property at the level. The prices are going up every week. People can't get houses. I have to live in two rooms myself. Can you give me an idea of prices? The owner wants 5500 for it. Oh, that's too much for me. Isn't there anything cheaper? How much are you ready to pay? Well, I thought about 2000 pounds. Perhaps a little more? You won't find a house at that price here. Not the kind of house for doctors to live in. That's far too much. But I must find somewhere to live. What's that? That's Blackwood House. Why? What's the matter with it? Where is it? In the middle of the town. Well, that will suit me very well. A doctor out to live in the middle of the town. How much is it? Um, a thousand pounds, Dr. Norton. Is that all? That's not too much. Why is the price so low? Why? Well, the truth is... Go on. Don't you want to sell this house? Is it in a very bad state? Oh no. It's in a good order. But there are some strange stories about the black house. The owner was a woman, Miss Morley. years after her death. Yes, she always wore a white dress when she was alive. And several people think that they have seen white visitors as they call her. Well, I don't believe in that kind of thing. No, no, certainly not. Can you please take me to see that house, please? I can do that if you wish. But you must not Buy that house, Dr. Norton. Please take me to see it. I shall not like it. Can we go at once? If you wish. Miss Cooper went with Dr. Norton to show him the Blackwood house. We are once again back in the same office. After an hour later, Dr. Norton and Miss Cooper walk in and sit down. Well, I like the house. It's big enough for me and it's in a very good place. Doctor, I must again suggest you, you don't buy the house. If you do, you will be sorry. Now, here I have another house. How much is it? Six 
6000 pounds well i don't want it i can't spend that all on a house i will buy blackwood house who's the owner mr body is what is brother he lives in london doesn't he want to sell oh yes but no one wants to live there with all these stories about the white mist but you ought to find somewhere else now there's a house in pool road i don't want it listen doctor water suppose you buy the blackwood house then in the middle of the night the white mister will comes into your bedroom how will you like that every night too hey how much sleep will you get in your new home none well don't come back to me later and say that i didn't tell you suppose you can't sleep there what will you do sell it my dear sir think everyone in the town will know that that dr norton have bought the blackwood house i don't know but that house is not for you will people think they will want to know the reason if you don't tell them the reason they will know that that you have seen the white mister i don't know but that house is not for you well i will write if you wish but i don't like it i didn't like it at all well it's almost time 12 now the white visitor will come if she ever comes what's that who's that what's happening who are you what do you want why don't you speak go away no i want you go i am busy i am reading can't you see this yes If I buy a house for six thousand pounds, you will get more money, won't you? That was the reason. Well, what was the reason? I wanted the house for myself. Well, why didn't you buy it? Actually, the price was falling. I have two hundred pounds. The bank was ready to have me six hundred pounds. That's eight hundred pounds. But the price was 1000 pounds i wanted it to come down another 200 pounds then i could buy it i see those stories were very helpful weren't they who started them perhaps you started them yourself miss cooper well i can tell to everyone the name of the white visitor now miss cooper is the name isn't it Miss White Visitor Cooper please don't tell to anybody Dr Norton I will lose all my business Why didn't you think of that before Now good night Miss Visitor I just want to finish my book after that I will get a good night sleep I will come to your office tomorrow at 10 o'clock and I will buy the Blackwood house Now good night Miss Cooper good night No We must always speak the truth. We should never be superstitious. We must 
never convey wrong messages and create unnecessary fear in the society. Thank you for watching this video.